This is Jacob with j and Photography coming to you with another episode of The Sunday Edit. Today's episode is going to focus on removing signage from a photo across multiple photos in a quick and efficient manner. So if we look here, we, uh, we can see that we have four different photos and there's a slight problem with them because it has some very clear branded uh, signage in the background which we cannot have if we want to publish these without issue. Now, the big problem though is, you know, in order to get rid of this, it could take a lot of work to effectively get rid of this, but I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get rid of this. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And on this layer, I'm going to sample a color from the background. In this case, it's going to be here. So I'm going to go down to my color palette and we're going to sample this color okay now now that we have that color sample we're going to go to our layer one and just take a look at that real quick grab our brush tool increase the size it doesn't matter make it solid we're going to, and we're going to paint this layer the color that we just sampled just cover the whole thing all right, so now we're going to make that layer visible and we're gonna take our top layer and put it underneath the original picture. Okay, so what we're doing now is, is that we're creating two different layers. We have the photo layer and then we have the color layer underneath. And the reason that I've done this is because I want to erase the top layer and then expose the underlying layer with the same color as the paint on the background. So if you look closely, if, uh, if I take my eraser tool and I erase on this layer, you'll see that as I erase, it's magically making this disappear in the same paint color as uh, the paint on the wall. And I'm going to use a larger eraser tool to take care of the, the bigger spots on the wall. And a good thing to uh, take note of is as you go across the wall, you're going to see a shift in color. So you definitely want to press the Alt key or uh, go to the color swatch and keep sampling parts of the paint to make sure that the subtle variations in the paint remain uniform or as uniform as possible. So let's just do this and let's speed this up a little bit and make this a little bit faster. Now, as always, this isn't pixel perfect, but it should serve its purpose for the demonstration of how this is done. Okay. So this is the hardest part. Uh, if you've done this part, you are pretty much done. So what we're going to do is we're going to flatten this image or uh, uh, sorry, merge visible, make it one image with no layers. And we're going to copy and move on to the next image and paste this. And what we're going to do now is take the, the layer that we just pasted and put it underneath the other layer. And now what we're going to do is select both layers and then go to auto align layers and just select auto. Okay. And now that our layers are aligned, we can take our eraser tool and we can just very casually go over everything we just did and in just a few seconds boom sign is gone and we can repeat that step let's go to the next one control v put this one on well let's auto align the layers first say auto can okay, you put this one underneath and erase 
And boom, and on to the last one. We just control V, select both layers, auto align layers, take the top layer, put it underneath, grab our eraser tool, and erase the top layer. And there you have it. We have four images in the space of about five or six minutes that have all the signage erased. Thanks for tuning in. I really hope you found this informative and educational. Stay tuned for next week's episode of the Sunday Edit. I'll see you then.